Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am once again currently working on the Stampin' Up! Um, paper pumpkin kit for May 2024. This is alternative video number six. Yay! Which means there's no more showing you everything in the kit. The kit is called The Best There Is, though I do show you the instruction sheet and the stamp set some of the times. Sometimes I forget. So this is what the instruction sheet looks like. You can see in there you get a vi great visual of how to put the cards together. On the back there's even a QR code for video help in assembling the kit as they were designed. On the back there is this QR code which will give you to the Thanks and Beyond dies. A visual of everything in the kit and the coordinating colors which are, I'm going to cough first, that's not part of the kit by the way. <coughs> Basic Beige, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, and Wild Wheat. So now that that's out of this, the way, you can see these are the wonderful stamp sets. Now I'm going to tell you, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not, I'm going to use the trees, I think, and, and this little one. Um, other, these three, I'm not going to use them um, because I dug into the paper pumpkin. Now I was going to put this up and go do something else. We're going to be using dimensionals, make it blingy. Oh, let's see. So we're going to be using March 2022's Beyond the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Stamp Set. I can show you the cover sheet because I tear them off. So I am using stamps set that went with this. And what am I using from that? Um, oh, just a little note. It's on the back here. So this one here. I'm actually going to cut this in half. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut it in half. I, You know, I'm done with the kit, even if I wasn't done with the kit. And then we're using March 2023. So that was March 2022. March 2023's 10 years of growth. Let me show you what this one was. And what we're using this card. <coughs> excuse me. What stamp we're using. We're using the Happy to Call You Friend which I am happy to call my friends friends. They have been great. You out there in the YouTube world are my friends also. So, um, it goes, this was part of the extra stamp set. The big happy and to call you friends right there. Stick that in the envelope. <coughs> oh, I should have gone in, but this card kind of just like fell as I was getting things. It just kind of came to me and it's like, oh, we got to do this. So this is a gatefold card. We're going to score it together. I got a white envelope here and we have five and a half by eight and a half scored at two and one eighth on both ends of this, making sure that is five and a half. It is five and three quarters. We're going to have to fix that. This piece here, we're going to cut into two. We're going to cut two pieces that are two by five and a quarter. That's from the kit. So we have the skinny sentiment strip, which will be cut. Uh, one will be a little shorter than the other, I think. I have for the inside three and three quarters by five. And this little floral element, which we're going to cut in half. And these were from the lovely Phyllis. We're going to use those pool party um, extras. So let's get started as I'm going to cough <coughs> again. Sorry, it's just how it is. So let's cut this to five and a half. I don't know must have been scrap from something but when I went into my there it is when I went into my envelope of cardstock I thought it was that so we're going to get rid of the cutting blade we are now going to score it at two oops I almost made a mistake two and one eighth so one eighth this is the two line one eighth is not the teeny one but the next one to it so we're going to score it one two three because that's my magic number we're going to turn it around and score it at two and an eighth again uh guys that's just easier for me two and three so now we have it done we are going to fold our ends give them a nice rub down with the bone folder put this one in which i wonder if that wasn't quite two and one eighth, but it is now. If you meet them in the middle, that will do it. So, <clears throat> one I think is a little bigger than the other, but hey, 
it, it will still work. So I am going to now cut these into two. First, I'm going to cut it to, they need to be at five. It's already at five, right? It's already at five. So I need two strips that are two inches. It's supposed to be two by five and a quarter, isn't it? So let me take a look. Sorry. This piece is needs to be cut smaller. So it needs to be one and three quarters. Let's change that so that when I go into putting this into the description, so it needs to be one and three quarters by five. There we go. So one and three quarters by five. So it's by five. We need two pieces that are one and three quarters. There's one. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is see how this was here. I want to cut this piece off. So I got to turn it this way to cut it at one and three quarters. And then that is a real cool little decorative element, but not for this. And then when I go to put those together on the front of it, it's still going to be all we did was cut out that center piece here by flipping it around. And this is a really cool little decorative strip I can use either on the inside or on another card. So these are going to go like so. I just have a wider border around my uh, pieces, but I love th this on pool party is absolutely fabulous. Um, <clears throat> I really like this. If this was DSP, I think I would have to buy it just for this paper. I might have to look in the catalog. I know they had something similar to this, but boy, does it go beautifully paired with pool party. So this is going down here. We could have even made it a little uh, smaller on the sides, but oh, my thumb really hurts. So I gotta have to squeeze like this because I'm getting pain in my thumb for some reason. And you can hear my heater. Like I said, it's been pouring rain here in Little Belfair. All right. There we go. Those are down. And then for the inside, <coughs> that's going on the inside. So this is where, where's my stamp? Just a little note. This is where we're going to close your eyes if you don't want to see it. I'm just going to take this and cut off note. And I'm going to pop that off for the moment. And now I have a little... And then I have note down here and I'm going to use it as such. So first I'm going to stamp, it's going to go this, no, it's going to go this way because this piece, I want that chevron going that way and I really want to do that really close to it, a little note. So we're going to stamp that first and we're not using Pool Party. We're going to use Misty Moonlight and the stamp in Pure Snap because we do want a really nice image. <clears throat> so I want to put that right there. I could get out the pool party. I think we will. I have an idea. A little. So now I'm going to cut this off. With the guillotine. Because you guys know I can't cut a straight line. So what it this is actually. The point of this is at one and... A quarter so cut that off <clears throat> now my note should fit on this little piece so let's ink up note and that's going this direction all right yes and then pull party where are you spin the tower Oh, pool party's right in front of me. I set my, I actually set the block on it like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I want 
to use my trees. I think, let me see how this is going to look. Oh yeah, that's what I want. I want to use the trees. So I'm going to do some there. And ta -da! just a little color on there. And this is going this way. So we're going to do like so. Then I'm going to turn it around and do a little like right there. I could also do a little like that. I think that's good. Oh, maybe a little bit more there. Okay. There's that done. So I'm going to clean this off. <clears throat> Though I don't think so. Let's see. So let's let's just wait so now i have happy which happy is going to be in let me take it off and put it back on so i can there misty moonlight because i'm thinking i want to put the trees above here we'll have to see oh do 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 let's just stamp stamp it in there <clears throat> Happy, 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 and I am happy. Now that I got the one card out of my way, you know. Happy to call you friend. We're gonna put that right here. And then that leaves me room to stamp a tree and a tree there in pool party, I think. So I'm gonna put this, yeah, like right there. And then I'm going to do it right there. Ah, yes. I'm wondering, do I go ahead? Oh, too, sometimes just too much fun. Add a little up there and a little down here. Where's the envelope, please, is right here. We're going to pop that there. Oh, we could do You're the Best. We could put that on there. Where's that block? Okay. Out, come out wherever you are. We're going to do You're the Best. And Misty Moonlight. Ta-da! And we, we got to do something on the flap here, right? <clears throat> Just gonna stamp the trees right there. So envelopes done. We're all done inking things up. Close them up. And let's see if this card comes together like I see it in my head. First things first is I need to chop this in half. This one of these will have to be chopped up again. So we can add this to the inside. Yes, we can. My thumb doesn't feel so bad now. I, I don't know. Maybe it was just a nerve or something that was. Getting to me. So there's the inside. Bright, happy card. Happy, happy colors. So a little note is going to go here. This, guys, is going to come down this way, like so. And guess what? This one is going to go this way. And guess what? Note. Oh, no. That is, that's right. It's just going to have to go at an angle. So I'll probably put that one at an angle as well. That's going to work. <clears throat> Trick is, hmm, do I glue this to here? and have that, yeah, okay, so we are going to chop some of this off. Oh, I just got me in the process. Uh, let's do a little fix here, with a little bit of tissue paper. I don't have a Band-Aid in my stamp room, but I got scotch tape. I used to have Band-Aids because I cut myself all the time. I will get one in a minute. 
but right now I don't want blood getting on my card so quick fix don't want anything getting on the card so we're gonna figure this out I told you guys I do cut myself on occasion so they're like so do I want to glue that down and then I think so I guess I didn't have to I want it like that and I want it right I'm gonna put a little X right there so now I can get the snips I mean <laughs> the reverse tweezers and add some glue on here and then that's not going to get snagged on anything in the envelope <clears throat> and this note is going to go like so so cute dimensionals I think two will do it one there one there I mean could have used minis but I had those available as it sticks to the scotch tape ah. cute 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 and this one All right, so pencil to give me an X marks the spot. Squiggle, 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 and add the little bits of glue. Oh, it stopped raining. And the birds are making themselves known. All right. This needs one, two, sweet little card. Now we get to put some pretty stuff on it. So one, two, three, we can do that. Or we can do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, nope, we're gonna use these big ones. So there's one. Oh, I should have put that one there. We'll just put it on the line together. Come on. And then this one is going to go in the pool party, or should I put it? I'm going to put it on the blue, too. All right. So there's my card. Da -da -da -da. I think it's sweet. Okay, envelope. And it's matching envelope. You're the best there is. A little note. Happy to call you friend. I should put for you. I wonder if there is a for you in here thinking of you am I overthinking it let's see nope there's no for you well that's going to do it there you go sweet 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 just a little different happy to call you friend love it so thanks for watching everybody if you are not subscribed I would ask that you might consider subscribing um, it does help me out your comments guys are though what really keeps me doing this and um, my goal is to reach at least a hundred comments um, for this video so if you could help me out thank you thank you thank you if not I wanted to thank you anyways for watching this video it means a lot to me um, your thoughts in your tips um, really do matter to me I, I I, I sincerely want to tell you that, but in the meantime, please feel free and come back and visit me in my Wonderland. Bye-bye, everybody.